Hello everyone and welcome back to the 100 Infant Challenge. So kind of trying to get my bearings here. So we have our two twin teens that aged up in the last episode. And then Aria, who is a child. Then we have Grace and Caitlin, who are infants. And then our babies, Jasmine and Cleo. We have a lot of girls in this household. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's see where we are with the infants and their milestones. I really just don't think that I can get three firsts. It looks like we could have first visitors. So if I just invite someone over, does that count? Let's try to invite over Davion. Try to hang out. Alexis, just let him do it. He's fine. He's got this. How about you? Alexis, stop. No. You're a good mom, but it is okay. He's got this. Let's serve brunch. Let's serve omelets. If I chomp him, he'll pick me up. He won't pick me up. Help! Get fed by Davion. She can get fed? Like what? A bottle? So we're not getting the first visitor milestone. Now I'm kind of wondering if it needs to be a, like a stranger to them. So maybe if I invite over Caleb. <gasps> there we go. So Caitlin got it. Caitlin. Okay. There. We did it. Okay, so now we can age them up. Though it does have to be a stranger. It can't be family. For whatever reason. I think family should count. Personally. What's happening? Why is there music? Grades are up. Oh, sit up! Grace sat up and then we have to age her up. Aww. Okay, well, we got a B, B, and Arya got A, so we're gonna have three teens. <gasps> Caitlin had a happy infant! <laughs> Yay! And she got fussy! Yay! And now we will help blow out candles. Grace. And we'll add birthday candles again. Wanderer. I've never seen that one before. Oh, Grace got top-notch infant. Wow, and she's angelic. Lucky us. The so Caitlyn seems to always be running away. Quick to run away after they're put down. Better to keep an eye on them. Oh, Caitlyn, run wherever, however you want. Oh, Arya needs to age up. I completely forgot. But we'll put that out after Alexis and cleaning the counter. Okay, Aria will be bring out the candles. Why are you crying? They have been there. Whoever you are. Grace, Caitlin. Aria has high self-esteem. These sins regularly become confident even when failing to gain skills or succeed at work. Alright, well, Aria was a genius. She's also gonna be a slob. <laughs> Let's see what aspiration she's going to achieve. All right, we have the random number generator here. We're going to generate, and she got 11, nature. Then in nature, she got seven, which is an outdoor enthusiast. Okay. Put candles back on. I like that lipstick. Interesting choice. Oh, she has that skin detail on. That's what it is. Oh, I have this super realistic skin detail that I, that I don't use for anybody because it's too realistic for me. Who are we wooing right now? Who are these kids' parents? What's happening? I don't remember anything, and it's not even been that long. Uh, Jimmy, who is married. Great. Okay, so Jimmy, our last parent, did we remove him from Social Bunny? Not. We started to flirt with Milo a little bit. What on earth? 
Hey, is today their birthday? Today is their birthday. All right, well, we will go ahead and age up these twins as well. Lots of birthdays this episode. Aria is going to age up little Jasmine, and then Orion will age up Leo. And then we'll hop into cast and give everyone a makeover because low-key, one of my favorite parts. Oh, Cleo aged up, and she is a calm infant. And smiled right away. Cute. Jasmine aged up, and she is also a calm infant. I've been getting that a lot with my twins, where, like, they kind of have the same traits. Maybe we can get the first visitor milestone out of the way. Let's invite over Declan. Can I invite him over? Is he here? Here. And then we're together. Oh, did they both get it? Oh, Jasmine got it twice. I'm gonna check, make sure Cleo did it. Okay, she didn't. I need uppies. I need to be taken in next room, please. What's happening? Are you sad? Alright, well we got first visitor, so that should help quite a lot. Alright, and we have returned from Cass. Someone's throwing a book at the baby. So let's go ahead and grab that out of the air there. Okay. Now we can do it. Um, Aria. Still one of my favorites. She looks so much like Alexis. So very much like her mother. It's... It's almost kind of scary. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I tried to keep her, like, same comfy relaxed look that she had um the twins oh, they're in their sleepwear right now so we won't see much from them at the moment and the infants are adorable right now they're in matching outfits um they're actually not they're not identical they're fraternal these two though are identical except one of them aged up with vitiligo and i'm not sure which one it is i can't tell from looking down here one of them i think it's her i think grace has it it looks like it because i can kind of see it on the curve of her nose right there so she has vitiligo she has freckles and i looked it up and there's like only a 23 percent chance that both twins would end up with vitiligo so i kept caitlin without it because if it's possible that they won't both have it, then I kind of prefer that. That's kind of cute. Get. Got B, B, B. All Bs. Goodness, I hope these two get A's in the next time. Oh, I guess they couldn't because their skill level's low. Oh no, they could have totally aged up. Okay, well, she could use logic and then she could age up. So where would I get logic? I don't really have like a chess set, do we? If we get one, where would we put it? If we had a chess set, where would we put it? I guess we could put it out on this little porch. All right, we have a super cute little chess set now. We'll have her work on her logic skill. And Orion needs to work on his cooking skill. Have him cook. Oh dear. Extinguish yourself first. Extinguish. Oh my gosh. No. No. Anika, why are you here? Why are you here? Is it not awkward enough the first time? Playing games on her phone on her front porch. Like any sane woman would do at 10.30 at night at her husband's mistress's house. You can go home, Monika. You're not coming in. Weird. And Anika's still here standing outside the house. An hour later, Anika, go home. We refuse to let you in. Oh, we're all asleep. And now we're not. <laughs> He's hungry. Um. 
Feed your baby. Bottle feeder. And then we're gonna need to change this diaper. And she probably needs feeding too, huh? Nope. What do you need? I feel like after they get a few milestones with the playmat, they don't need it anymore. But it's hard to say when that is. She lifts her head. Maybe when they can roll over, then you just put them on the floor and work on the crawling. I think that's how this goes. I apologize. I'm still kind of learning the infants. Cute. Oh. 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 What's happening? Who? This one? What'd you get? What'd you get, Cleo? What can you do? Laugh milestone unlocked. How cute. You know what those toys? You. Come play with this. One. Alexis. Alexis. Alexis, come on. I gave you a task. Stop it. <laughs> Would you focus, please? Oh my gosh. Sorry, Jasmine. I know you need something done, but I don't know. Who is this? Cleo. Sorry, Cleo. I know you need to go to bed, but apparently we would prefer to watch our other child reach a milestone than put you to bed and take care of your needs. So annoying to me. Two tummy time together after that. Alexis, what are you doing? Put her to sleep. No. Put Cleo to sleep. Oh my goodness. Grace wants to sing a song. Aww. Are we ever going to get to hear the song? Arya's like, yes, I'm waiting. Hello? Arya looks so much like Alexis. Wild. Oh, little singer! <laughs> the head unlock for Jasmine. Nice. What are her milestones like? We got two fine motor, one gross motor, three social. Okay, Alexis, why don't you go ahead and go to sleep? Arya. What is this? Outshined from watching siblings milestone. That was it. Big deal. Arya's been doing that for years. Oh. These new little moodlets are so spot on. I like they make me feel bad, but they're like so good. <gasps> he didn't get his level three. Oh shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, we're in trouble. You were level three, you didn't. Oh my gosh, logic. So she needs to go out here for a quick sec and play. Oh my gosh. We gotta get you up to level three. You could not, you, not, you did not start a fire. Oh, okay, he's just scared of fires. Pyro, no. Oh, he's almost there. He's gonna have to cook one more. One last, one last meal to cook. I'm sure you'll have it. Come on, you got this. Nice, you did it. Let's potty train. Potty train, Caitlin. Go sit down first, as we do, you know? Collect our thoughts, collect our reserves, and then look how, <laughs> look how well bench pressing infants is doing <laughs> compared to the other two. That's funny. All the stay at home moms are like, I, I have infants to bench press at home. Let's do this. Let's. Ooh, change diaper, bottle feed, and then give a bath to poor baby Jasmine. He is filthy. We're doing okay though. This is a lot less stressful than it was before. Granted, we have three teens. That that definitely helps to have three teens. Once you get to that point in the baby challenge, it becomes so much easier. Jasmine's feeling well cared for. Oh. This is what I want! <laughs> this is how I want all the babies to feel. It's so sad. 
sad that our other kids are getting jealous. It's so it's depressing. Oh. Kleptomaniac. I forgot you were a kleptomaniac. Oh, roll over to back and lock. And give bath. Maybe we'll pick up and move Jasmine off of that then? Sure. Would she invite over? <gasps> I forgot they have exams now! Did they not get A's? No! <laughs> no! I thought we did so well! Oh my god, if they had literally gotten an A on Thursday, they would have aged up. We would have bypassed the whole exam thing. Oh no, I completely forgot they have to like study and stuff. Uh, that's so annoying. I can't believe it. Well, all three of them will age up and then we have room for triplets. I can't believe that. I'm sorry, guys. I really failed you. Arya, actually, would you pick up Jasmine? And then Jasmine down here. That's not what I said, Arya. That's not what I said. Will you pick her up and move her? You're not picking her up and moving her. Carry Jasmine. Put Jasmine down here. Got a picky eater from Cleo. Oh wow, you've got quite the mess on your hands in here. Don't you, you dirty little hoarder. Want some help cleaning up all that trash? Who are you? Levi. Never met Levi Peterson before. I'm gonna just go meet him real fast, you know? Just real fast. Get to know this man. Hello. If he's gonna clean. I mean, I'm all here for it. Let's do a friendly introduction. Oh, Carolina's calling to chat. Yeah. Oh, he's just gonna get right to work. Okay. I thought that we could help her like, crawl. Is that she'd have to learn to Maybe we'll do ton of time here on the floor. Are we sad? Why are we sad? Is anyone there? Oh, you know why they're more ta well taken care of? It takes a village, doesn't it? <laughs> That's what you could take from this. Oops, sorry, Levi. I just hey, I got a special gift for you because you're such a good neighbor, and I appreciate your kindness. Friendship. Wayne. Wayne's here. What about your brother in? I think it's made better by her little fairy outfit. It's so cute. We'll check for gigs. Let's see if we can finish one quickly and just get some money pocketed because that would be really helpful. Um, for this, we need to chat with the client and then start writing a f science fiction novel. We will start writing. Science fiction novel. Ooh, we're feeling romantic. That's too bad. We missed our chance to write another romance novel. Hey, Davion, how are you? Oh, yes. You are my favorite. Oh, my God. <laughs> Aww, our two evil babies getting along. Look at that. How <laughs> sweet. Not the favorite. <laughs> You're a little baby. How would you know? How would you know? How would you know? How? Literally, like, you wouldn't know. They wouldn't know what that means. Alexis is feeling sad because she has, should I be more lenient? Alexis is wondering whether all these strict rules and high standards are worth upholding for her usually well-behaved family member. Perhaps she should loosen her expectations a bit. Mind, I haven't done anything. I, I haven't asked her asked her to do anything regarding any of the family dynamics <laughs> and she feels that way so that's that's interesting you're fine alexis you're doing fine eliza since you didn't get those a's you needed you're feeling pretty good how about we do a sitting activity one that can sit and let's practice sitting hopefully right here in the in the wet spot nice as we should what are you- what do you mean? Back to sitting. Back to sitting. With little Jasmine. You know what they need? They need those, like, boppy pillows. 
that children use to sit in. That's what we need in The Sims. That'll help them a lot. Okay, so all Jasmine needs is one more fine motor skill. Actually, she doesn't even need this. So Jasmine's ready to age up. What about Cleo? Cleo still needs one more gross motor, two more fine motor. Or sorry, one more fine motor, one more gross motor. And then she's ready. So Cleo, if you're feeling up to it, let's wake you up. How about you come get Cleo? And we will practice. Ooh, we will practice sitting. I know you're not feeling good. Nina Lange. Hey, Eliza, we're having a little get-together before prom. Want to join? You know what? Let's switch it up. Why not? I'm taking my siblings with me, though, because I want them all to be there. Here's our pre-prom get-together. Nice. Everyone looks fantastic. She looks very upset. This. Oh, that's our son. <laughs> I knew that. I was testing everyone else. Ooh, elote. That is great. I would grab servings, but we're not hungry. Eliza kind of is. Grab a serving. I have them work on skills? I can't have them work on skills. I don't know how much time I'm going to devote to this prom. I can't make the babies work on skills from here. Hey, thanks for inviting us. Uh, Juana's mom. So she's a kleptomaniac. Why don't we... tend to swipe something while we're here. How about... I think with costs maybe the most. Can we can't swipe a stereo, really? What can we swipe? Alright, well, let's attempt to swipe this then. Oh, okay. Travel to prom with all three of us. Let's go. Are we going? We're not going. Did we mess up? Alright, let's try to go there like this and see if it works. It's not gonna work. Well, if it doesn't work, I guess we'll go home and do infant stuff. Try to veer off, do something fun, new, and it breaks. That's depressing. Alright, well, we'll go home. <laughs> Their needs are like nothing! What happened, Alexis? Which one needs things? Cleo needs her milestones, right? What on earth was she doing with them? Was she just standing here like this the whole time? Where's that efficient baby care? I need to do that one. Stop. Stop these things. The efficient baby care. Hurry. Alexis. No, Alexis. The diaper. Oh my goodness. I can't believe that happened. Can I even leave the house? <laughs> Is this even going to be a thing I could do in the future? Uh, some in to fight for approval. Oh, we got it. Nice. All right, let's start another gig while we're ahead of everything. Oh, uh, we can't do this one. Writing skill nine. I guess I don't have nine yet. The next highest paying one is Ghostwriter for History Textbook. Let's do that. Leo needs a sitting milestone. She needs sitting for gross motor. And then she needs a fine motor. So we'll give her a toy after we practice sitting for a little bit. Maybe practice sitting twice? <gasps> or? Got it, I think. Oh, oh, she just did the tummy win. <laughs> okay, we'll give her a toy then. Um, she should be pretty good after a toy. You get her the toy? You're not getting her the toy? Okay, let's give toy two. Yeah. Toy to her. Toy! No, what are we doing? Where, what are we doing? Are we still doing the toy thing? Okay. I think we're still doing the toy thing. <laughs> He's feeling outshined too. Why though? Can you just give her the toy? Give toy to Cleo. Is this not Cleo? It is Cleo. Give her the toy. Why can't we give her the toy? Oh, he's got something going on again. But now, she hasn't even done anything. She's just been laying there. Oh, she's sitting. Oh, great. Give her the toy, quick, please. Give her the toy. <laughs> Give her the toy. Be too busy doing stuff. Lumi had a nightmare. Oh, no, we're not waking up. Are we giving her the toy? Okay, I'm going to reset you. Give toy to Cleo, please. I want to age them up. More toddlers. Give her the toy. Give her the toy before she runs away. Okay. 
Oh. Alright, so now she has a fun skill. So in mouth, that's a fine motor, isn't it? <gasps> we did it! 333, three, three, and they're a day before. They're a day ahead of time. Okay, Aria, can you come change her diaper? And then we're gonna age them up. We're ready. We did it. 333 three, three and all of them. I'm so excited. And we're gonna have four tots. Three teens. Everyone's doing amazing. <laughs> and Jasmine is aged up. She has the top-notch infant. Nice. And inquisitive. Cute. All right, there's Jasmine. Now we're going to wake up Cleo. All right, Cleo aged up. She didn't get a trait, but she's a fussy baby. Oh my, again? Again? Why do we have so many fires now? Out of nowhere, we have so many fires. Pancakes. Alexis. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead and get food out. I can't believe that. Well, after you're done cooking, I guess take a bubble bath, relax. Why? Is he more prone to catching on fire or something? What's happening? Is it because he has a fear of fire? Has an increased chance of starting fires accidentally. Are you kidding me? Go take a bath, dude. Go take a bath. I can't. I cannot. You have that going? Please tell me you don't. Alexis, it's fine. She has it too! Okay, well then she can't cook. Can you cook? Can, can anyone in this house cook? The evil sim can. How do you get rid of that? I don't even know how to get rid of that. Like, it says that they, like, need to put out a fire, right? But, like, when do they get that chance? That feels so risky. So, like, when Orion starts a fire, I have Alexis come put him out. But, like, he put out the fire twice. And he still has a fear. Makes no sense. Okay, well, this feels like a good place to call it. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the series so far. Uh, feel free if you have any name suggestions for babies since I've just been randomizing them as we go. You can leave them in comments below. I'm okay with naming them after comments. And thank you for so many views and likes on this series. It really means a lot, especially being like my first series to post on YouTube. It feels really nice. I will see you in the next one. Bye!